What's up, loves? Your girl London is back, and I am back with a vengeance. Oh my gosh, I have missed you guys terribly. I missed your comments, your love, your support, my A1 day ones. Oh my gosh, like that's probably been the most one of the most difficult parts about not being able to do content and produce content for you guys. I've been gone for 10 months and counting, and churches are closed still um just the normal routine of things just got flipped upside down but i'm of course going to give you a little bit of the tea before we get into this video so just to make a long story short last time i spoke to you guys i was working from home so i left the location that i was at um i went to another location briefly for a couple of weeks and then i started working from home excuse the hair y'all uh yeah so uh, my husband was with it he was like babe line them up do what you need to do but oh my gosh i hated working from home guys absolutely hated it uh i think the most difficult part was just like bending my clients over the kitchen sink i could not do it it drove me crazy and no shade to anybody who's currently doing that because that's my original stumping grounds that's how i got started so i mean it is what it is but it, it felt like moving a step backwards so Needless to say, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. And then the tea. Y'all ready for the tea? Your girl ended up getting a spot. Yes, her very own spot. So we're talking about a licensed booth renter for the past 23 years. Decided to say, you know what? Enough of the game. Just go ahead and get your own spot. And that's what your girl did. Two weeks into February, I found a location, got my keys, paid my deposit, moved in. And at that time, my intentions was solely just to have a spot of my own to do my clients. And then the transformation came. But before the transformation came, COVID came. And baby, the fire marshal was looking for me. The building inspector was looking for me. And by the end of the day, my checkbook was looking for me. Like, your girl got hit in the crossfire. Work had to stop. It had to cease. The money was running dry. I wasn't motivated to do nothing but just show up and put in work. And if blood, sweat, and tears had a face, baby, it was me. I'm telling you, I put, there is so much DIY, so much things that I've done in that place just on my own. I spent hours and hours and hours in that location for literally about eight months like just pedal to the wall i i actually ended up having a grand opening it was october 31st so it was a little slash halloween party i didn't vlog it i wish i did but in an upcoming video i will definitely put up some of the pictures and videos from it it was hilarious we had such a good time of course, we had our masks. You know, we 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 did our thing. Um, but, you know, COVID took us all by a whirlwind. I lost my dad to COVID. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot went on this year. And I want to know what happened to y'all. Like, y'all have to put it in the comment section. Let me know if COVID kicked y'all butt, if 2020 just kicked y'all butt, and if y'all ready to just knock it all down in 2021. Holla at your girl. I love y'all feedback. I live for it. You hear me? I live for it. But I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. So first off, let me just say to my A1 Day Ones, I'm glad y'all here and I'm glad to be back. And for my new loves, if this is your first time seeing the video, please make sure that you comment, you like, and most importantly, subscribe. You got to subscribe and hit that notification bell because how else are you going to know when I'm uploading a video? And baby, I got some new stuff. Okay, I know I said it earlier this year. Hey, COVID, don't beat me over the head for it. But I have some DIY. I have a home renovation that I'm going to be showing y'all. And your girl need to drop about 25, 30 pounds. So it's going to be a little bit of fitness in there. I don't know whether to bring y'all along for the journey or bring y'all along after, you know. I hadn't really decided that yet. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shut up. I'm going to let y'all guys get into the video. Again, don't forget comment, like, and subscribe. 
and I will see y'all in the next video. Also, if y'all want me to upload the walkthrough of the salon before the hair videos, let me know. Or maybe I could do them both. It doesn't matter. Y'all tell me. All right. I'm not saying no more. Bye. All right, guys. So let's get started. So this is the first unit that he showed me. In fact, I thought it was going to be the only unit that he showed me for, um, for availability. So that is the window with the bars on it. So it did make me a little nervous because I was like... Is that really like necessary um <laughs> definitely something you want to know this is the second space so there's like two office space so it's the first one when we walked in and then this space that i'm currently in which gives you that window that you see into the garage and then this is the open garage but to the left uh was this open area that i had loved and then this was the garage area i don't know if y'all saw that um what do you call it AC that they carved into the cinder block yeah so this is the garage area if you come in from the back end and the garage door was completely done that's as far down as it would come and there was no way to insulate this spot so yeah a nightmare and then this is me coming back through the two office spaces and the bathroom was up front which I really really liked um uh, it's definitely a gut job but nonetheless it's a bathroom there's no hot water in this unit so water is included but hot water isn't available because there's no hot water tank and then you can actually go into the garage from this end so this is the front end and of course like i said that garage door was done and then this is the view looking straight to the back oh that ac just gives me the blues <laughs> Okay, so next, this is the second location that he showed me that was a little further down. And this unit was definitely like night and day from the other unit. So I went inside this unit, not knowing really what to expect, but based on what the other unit had going on, I thought nothing could be worse. And fortunately, I was right. So this one had carpet in the front, whereas the other one had um, uh, wood floors. And this sofa was already in there. I guess it was left by the previous renter. Now, what I didn't like is that there was no bathroom up front like the other unit. So it only had just this room and then this upcoming room right here, which does not open out to the garage. If you remember, the other room actually had like a cutout window you could see into the garage, and then you could go through that wall and it would take you into the garage. So this doesn't do that. There's just the one entrance door to the garage area, which is this one. And this garage door works fine, even though it's up. Um, this was done a little bit more as far as um, painting, so there was like that light shade of tan or beige on the wall. This was, might as well say, a third room in this location. So the other the other space had like, off to the left, it looked like it was like a, a break room or something like that, which I really loved. But uh, this was like a whole nother entire office space. I think one time it was a studio. And then again, did you see that? They did it again, y'all. Another AC unit in the cinder block. And this one is smaller. But anyway, so this is the back wall. And I liked kind of the layout of this uh, location as well. Or unit, I should say. There is a hot water tank up there, if you can see that. And then this is the bathroom. So the bathroom is actually in the open space of the garage. As opposed to up front where the um, office rooms were. So, I mean, I guess it's a happy medium. I'm not certain, but I later found out that this was going to be an issue. And I'll tell y'all all about that later. But this is me leaving out. So this is kind of the view on the way back out. And as I said, there's only one entry into the garage area with a door. Okay, so these were the units that were available. That one, of course, was move-in ready. And the other one would be ready the following month of March. So, which do y'all think I picked? <laughs> All right, you guys, you guessed it. Yes, I went with unit number two. I needed to move in 
quick, fast. And so without further ado, let me show you guys this transformation. Now I'll do a walkthrough later on to show like the colors I chose, the style and why and where I got a lot of the pieces. But for now, let's get into it. Y'all, I really wanted to do a very, very upscale location, especially based on the location where I am. I am in an industrial area and I had to give my clients the best bang for their buck. In my entryway, as you see, this is where my receptionist sits and it's glam on glam on glam. I have juice or water available for clients as they come in, if they have to wait or if they, I'm readily available to start their service. Um, in this room, I, it is still right now just a catch-all room. I am trying to decide what to put there. Um, here's my thoughts. So we'll see what 2021 says. So this was the garage area. I don't know if y'all remembered, but I want to definitely give you a run through. And I didn't show the ceilings when I was in there before, but they were completely undone. Um, the other unit was exactly the same as well. But of course that, that unit was horrible um, to say the least. But this is the transformation that I made in this area. This is my wet bar and I absolutely love it hey sometimes you just need to be able to unwind during your services this is that old faithful bartesian oh my gosh i absolutely love it um i will link in the description where you can find this it is a game changer uh yes all real glass i do have a dishwasher in the back but most of this we actually just hand wash um and those are the different cocktails that it makes in this area i have the tea coffee and I actually do keep fruits in that little fruit holder like cherries and lime and things like that for the cocktail. That's my ice maker. There's a microwave. Um, all sorts of things to um, convenience my clients as well as myself and the staff. This area right here was the most hardest thing to consider because of course with the garage you cannot insulate. And then... I had Emil come through and he slayed it. He actually built this wall, which gave me storage. I don't know if you saw the door there, but it allowed me to keep my paint cans and brooms and all types of stuff. That's my baby girl. You know, I had to make her the star of the show. Um, yeah, but he killed it. And then this area, which was that office space that I told you about, I had him cut this space in half. I did not need a room this big. So we opened that floor out, was able to do uh, three stations, shampoo bowls all included, and where would we be without the chandeliers? Y'all know your girl had to put the chandeliers in there. So these are the stations. Um, currently I work in the middle station right now. Um, I actually did these stations myself, so I will do a DIY video on that later. This is like the privacy room. Um, it's for my VIP, or, or better yet, just my ladies who want privacy. And did you see that view from the inside? Phenomenal. So this was that back area. Um, I eventually closed this area off because this was a shampoo area when I first moved in. And so now it is my dryer location with tablets for viewing pleasure. So your girl is going all out for my clients, especially if they don't want to use up all their data. Have earbuds there for them to use as well. These chairs recline. And when I say, oh my gosh, trust me, oh my gosh. So that area where you saw all that stuff is now um, my room with my washer and dryer. My dishwasher's in here. There's a mop sink as well. This is my photo wall. Yes, it says slay. And then this is that bathroom. So this bathroom wasn't nearly as bad as the other one, but it definitely still needed an upgrade. And so this is what I did. It is full glittered floors. Um, this is my station for my clients to help themselves with 
um, personal products and then the shampoo bowl oh not shampoo bowl you guys the sink the sink oh my gosh let's get into this sink I got this sink from Habitat $140 and then I got the faucet from Amazon I will link that in the description below as well and this is the view leaving out I have now set up a full area for makeup it's where I do my makeup classes it's over here to the left and I'll show you that there it is I switched those seats out so I'll do an update of that as well but um, I'll go more in depth also at a later time in a later video but this is the view as you're leaving out and um, this has been the bumpiest roller coaster ride but I enjoyed every bit of it blood sweat and tears so tell me what you guys think in the comments down below if you'd like to see a more in-depth video please make certain to let me know and I will get that uploaded to you details and all please don't forget to follow me on all my social uh, media and also subscribe if you have not already subscribed what are you waiting on and until next time as always bye loves